Okay, I think uh, <coughs> we left a number of exercises pending yesterday, which we didn't do. So let's go back and see if we can take care of a few of those exercises. So uh, the first one is, let's see if we can create a profile starting from scratch or starting from an example. Uh, in the sample IG folder, you do have two example profiles. One is called in the resources input, I mean in input resources directory, if you go in there, in the sample IG project. I am not sure how to increase that, but I will try. Control plus. That doesn't work on Mac. Huh? Command plus doesn't work either. I'm, but I mean, uh, you know, all of you have it on your slide, uh, on your projects, right? Um, so go into the input folder in the sample IG project, go into resources folder, then you'll see a, a file called myobservation.xml. Can, can everyone find it? Okay, so myobservation.xml is a profile of observation. So what we would like to see is see if you can, you know, use that as an example and create a profile of a patient, for example, with, with about four or five different data elements, maybe name, maybe date of birth, maybe identifier, and, and so on. So pick five data elements from the patient resource and create a profile using this as an example. And run your build and we'll see how many errors people get. So. <clears throat> okay, I think uh, we're done with the profile example. Uh, the next thing to do is adding narrative to the profile. So the way you would add narrative to the profiles is whatever you call the profile as, let's say you called it as a test patient. So test patient dash intro dot XML or test patient dash intro dot MD. You can use a markdown file or an XML file and put that in the page content folder and then type in a paragraph of this is my test profile or something and that should show up on your profile page. So, so create a, either a markdown file or an XML file and the name of the XML file should be whatever your profile name is, dash intro dot XML and put it in the page content folder. So if you want a reference, uh, there is a reference called uh, in the sample IG page content, uh, sample IG project input page content folder, you can look at the some patient profile dash intro dot XML and some patient profile dot dash notes dot XML. So you can copy those two, add some of your own text and then as long as the name matches the profile name that you used, then on that particular profile you should see the text that you put in. So that's basically adding narrative to a specific profile. Okay, the next one is images. Do people want to add an image? Okay, so pick your favorite image in your JPEG, PNG format and put it in the images folder and reference it from your uh, page content file that you, that you created. Okay, it's five o'clock Eastern time here in Atlanta. If I can have your attention for just a minute, I'd like to thank you all for coming out. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, you can keep working. We have the room for a while, but we're going to wrap, wrap up. Um, like I said, I'd like to thank you all for coming out. We hope this has been useful for you. Uh, to prove that it's been useful, we're going to send out a survey by email to each and every one of you. You will give us straight fives because otherwise you don't get another chocolate. Thank, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, like I said, if you, if you want to get a hold of us, all of us are on the IG creation uh, chat within the uh, fire, 
chat.fire.org. That is the best way to not only reach us, but your community in general. And everybody talks when I'm talking. It's terrible. Um, if you have specific questions, our emails are, are we were CC'd on all the emails that were sent to you, so you can actually see, you can see our individual emails, send them out to us. Uh, we'd be happy to answer questions. Um, and hopefully we'll be doing this again, and you'll tell all your friends to show up again. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night.